Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to this evening's tech rollout event of Tumboring Innovation in Tunneling. From the world's largest museum for science and technology, the Deutsche Museum. We are pleased that you followed our invitation. My name is Dmitry, and I'm responsible for fundraising and strategic partnerships in our awesome team. A warm welcome also from my side. My name is Sophie, and usually my responsibilities in Tumboring lies in outreach management and public relations. Together, we're proud to lead you through today's program as your moderators for this evening. As most of you probably know, we kept our technical solutions under lock and key. Until tonight. This evening, we are very excited to give you the first public insights into the technical concept of our tunnel boring machine. Our digital guests tonight are representative of the press, enthusiasts, competitors, friends, and supporters. We want to thank you, in the name of our initiative, for the great support, interest, and feedback that came back to us. More than that, we want to express our thankfulness to our sponsors in the industry and the Technical University of Munich. Without their help, it wouldn't have been possible to reach all the milestones we have achieved so far. If you're further interested to know what companies have supported us throughout our journey, check the logos below this video. As an orientation for this platform, you will find the schedule of today's agenda at the left side and live chat to the right side of the live stream when you close the full screen mode. Please feel free to use the live chat for any purposes, feedback, questions, or ideas. We will continuously screen the chat during the stream and will answer questions after the presentation. This evening, we will see small groups of people during the production of the video material, all participants were continuously tested to COVID-19. But before we talk too much, let's hear what the president of the Technical University of Munich, Professor Hoffmann, has to say about our project. Unsere studentischen Initiativen stehen symbolhaft für unkonventionelles Denken und die Innovationskraft der Technischen Universität München. Es begeistert mich als Präsident immer wieder, wie engagiert unsere Studierenden an avantgardistischen Innovationen arbeiten. Und sie werden auch nicht müde, sich immer wieder dem internationalen Wettbewerb zu stellen. Viermal in Serie konnten Studierende der TUM sich mit dem Geschwindigkeitsweltrekord in Elon Musk's Hyperloop Competition bereits durchsetzen. Und nun stellen sie sich erneut einen Wettbewerb. Diesmal geht es um die schnellste Tunnelbohrmaschine der Welt. Insgesamt 390 Studierendenteams aus aller Welt sind angetreten in Elon Musk's Not a Boring Competition. In der ersten Auswahlrunde hat sich unser Team, Tom Boring Team, bereits durchgesetzt. Und nun sind sie als einer der zwölf Finalisten zum Wettkampf in die USA eingeladen. Das macht mich stolz als Präsident der TU und Schirmherr des Teams, denn sie verbinden Fachkompetenz über Disziplinen hinweg mit Neugier und Pioniergeist. Und sie verknüpfen Experimentierfreudigkeit mit praktischer Ingenieurskunst. Und sie sind eine wirkliche Inspirationsquelle für den Unternehmergeist unserer Universitätsgemeinschaft. Lassen Sie uns alle fest an dieses Team glauben. Dann werden Sie auch in diesem Wettbewerb der Turm alle Ehre machen. Ich danke allen Industriepartnern, Unterstützern und Freunden und unserer TUM Universitätsstiftung, dass sie unterstützen, was das Team ausmacht und wozu wir, die TUM, da sind, Talente zu entfalten und die Zukunft zu gestalten. Liebes TUM Boring Team, die TUM Familie steht vereint hinter euch. Wir drücken die Daumen fürs Finale. It is always highly motivating to have such a strong tailwind. Thank you very much, President Hoffman. But why are we doing all this? What is our background? What is our vision? And what impact do we want to achieve to bring our world one step further? First, let us hear one of our technical leads and project initiator, Kilian Schmidt. Tom Boring, Innovation and Tunneling. Our mission is already in our name. We are helping to shape the future of mobility. When I started building my first small tunnel boring machine back in 2018, people were quite skeptical. But a year ago, things began to change pretty fast. As it turned out, I was not the only one annoyed by commuting hours to work and university each day. 
So as a team, we finished the machine and dug a tunnel in my parents' garden. That's how it all started. Also, Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk had the same problem in Los Angeles, where traffic is even worse than in Munich. That is why he founded The Boring Company and almost exactly one year ago announced the Not A Boring competition, challenging students from around the world to dig a 30 meter long and 50 centimeter wide tunnel as fast and precise as possible. The motto of the competition is Beat the Snail. This highlights one of the most pressing challenges in the tunneling industry. Current tunnel boring machines, or short TBMs, need five to eight weeks to dig a one kilometer long tunnel. That's more than 10 times slower than a garden snail, which also makes underground infrastructure extremely expensive. But why is that a problem? As a three-dimensional network, it can unlock an incredibly efficient and time-saving way of transportation. Within minutes, we could commute through an entire city. While this is a more long-term vision, Tunnels can also provide immediate benefits. We are constantly exposed to noise and air pollution created by traffic. Instead, more urban, recreational and green spaces are needed. By shifting transportation underground, we can substantially improve everyone's quality of life. Tunnels are invisible and noise emission is completely eliminated. Former roads can be transformed into green spaces or be specifically adapted to the needs of cyclists, pedestrians and local communities in general. All this while you still have the opportunity to arrive at your desired destination faster than ever before. That is why our primary goal is to win the competition and push innovation in tunneling forward. We have already completed testing our TBM here in Germany and it is currently on its way to the competition. I am very excited that we can finally reveal what our amazing team has come up with for the 2021 Not A Boring competition. We've worked a lot over the last months to achieve this. It would not have been possible without our sponsors, friends and supporters. So big thanks to all of you. Let's beat the snail. Let's definitely beat the snail. Well, frankly, personally to me, that doesn't sound that boring. Totally agree with you. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been possible to recruit over 60 enthusiastic students from all over Munich to take part in a tunnel boring competition. So, big thanks to all our members who made the impossible possible. And now, we want to take you in front of the screen to the best personal experience in the tunnel boring industry. So, we're going to start what everybody has been waiting for. Enjoy.
So, that's what engineering students do when they're bored, right? Yeah, seems like that. So let us see how our baby works in detail and discover together what happened in our team until we came to the point where we are now. For that, we want to take you with us to a small journey into the past, stressful, but also wonderful world of tambouring innovation in tunneling. The tambouring TBM design is based on a balanced mix between industry standard principles like pipe checking and multiple innovative approaches to solve inefficiencies and increase tunneling rates. All this weighs more than 20 tons and is integrated in a huge 12 meter long shipping container. It enables quick setup, fast tunneling feed rates, use of robust pipe segments with pre-installed driving surfaces, many of the shelf components and a lot more. We divided our team into seven sub-teams to efficiently design, build and test all the many subsystems. Today, you will finally gain an exclusive insight from our sub-team leads who will show you how we optimized our machine for the three winning categories of the 2021 Not A Boring Competition. Fastest to complete the tunnel, fastest to provide a driving surface and providing the most accurate guidance system. When digging a tunnel, the first question to be answered is how we will loosen the material in front of the boring machine. Maximilian Oberbriller and his team of seven members took care of that. To maximize the material removal rate, which is absolutely critical when building the fastest TBM in the world, we decided to use dry excavation and squeeze an auger screw into our cutter head. This is possible due to the low depth without groundwater and desert conditions at the competition site. It enables insane excavation rates of many kilos per second. But due to the small tunnel diameter of only 0.5 meter, it is impossible to use a big enough auger screw together with a normally used central shaft driven cutting wheel. The only way around this is to create a hollow shaft and feed the auger screw through it. To get a high torque of more than 10 kN at the cutting wheel out of the very limited space around the auger, we use a big hollow gear driven by four water cooled synchronous motors with planetary gearboxes. And all this eats through highly abrasive stones, sand and silt, which require special seals. For example, in the front we use a mechanical face seal and in the back a cassette seal due to the even tighter space constraints. The three different cutting wheels that we have to adjust to the uncertainty in geology are pushed to the tunnel face with high axial forces, which are absorbed by a custom-made multi-axis cylindrical roller bearing. Two of the cutting wheels use scrapers. One of them has tiltable tools to increase efficiency. The third one uses roller ward chisels to deal with even harder geology. Now that we can drill through almost every imaginable obstacle, the question arises as to where and above all how the extracted material is transported away. Max Herbst and his team dealt with this question and found a solution that is simple and effective at the same time. The material removal system consists of an auger screw located in the front of our TBM and six conveyor belts with a combined length of over 50 meters. Four of the conveyors are integrated into the pipes which form the tunnel structure. The remaining two are placed outside the tunnel. Conveyor belts are standard in larger TBMs, but they are usually too big for small tunnel diameters such as is in our case. Our innovative approach allowed us to gain all advantages associated with typical conveyor belts, like high material flow rates and excellent energy efficiency. We achieved this by adapting them to fit perfectly in our small tunnel. The auger conveyor is integrated into the cutter head. It is responsible for removing the soil from the excavation chamber. The feed rate of the auger is controlled in a manner to prevent thieves and settlements. The first four conveyor belts are 9 meter long and pre-mounted in each pipe segment. The conveyors overlap on the pipe intersections to prevent material spillage. The second last conveyor belt is responsible for transporting material from the tunnel end to the container entrance. It is placed beneath the pipe storage. Finally, the excavated material is transported to the deposit next to the container by the last conveyor. The design of our cutter head and the fact that we do not add water or other swelling conditioning gives us another advantage. It allows us to transport less material, which leads to a faster and more efficient soil removal process. Digging and cleaning up the mess should be no problem anymore. But this competition is not only about speed, but also about precision. We had to find a way to navigate our TBM through this underground jungle. 
which is not as easy as navigating a car on the surface. Let's see how Philip and his team solved this problem. The guidance system measures the TBM's diversion from the planned tunnel axis while calculating the current position of the cutter head. In tunneling, this is not as simple as one would expect from a conventional navigation system. There are no external references for orientation, such as road marks or satellites for GPS. At first, an inertial navigation system using a gyro compass in combination with a magnetic wire guidance system was considered in our first concept. However, this would have been unnecessarily complex and would not have allowed us to achieve the desired accuracy. Based on this and the fact that we are drilling a straight tunnel, we finally decided on a laser guidance system. We can precisely determine the TBM's heading by measuring the machine's offset to a laser beam parallel to the tunnel axis. To calculate the TBM's position, this information is supplemented by additional sensor data measuring the orientation of the cutter head relative to the first tunnel segment and a wheel encoder attached to the jacking station to measure the propulsion progress. Now that we know how to scratch off the material and get rid of it, as well as knowing the exact position of the machine, is there anything else we need to take care of? Well, we need to build a tunnel. Never forget the most tunnelish part of tunneling is the tunnel itself. Let's listen to Simon Mante. He will tell you all about the tunnel and its steering system. Since precision is one of the winning categories, we build a system that can keep the TBM on the desired path. It consists of two main modules, actuated by three hydraulic cylinders, producing forces up to 10 tons each. One module is flanged to the first pipe, which is a stationary part, housing a microhydraulic power pack and valve unit. The other module gets actuated and is flanged to the cutter head. We constructed a seal ball joint, which connects the two parts, ensures concentricity and transfers the torque from the cutter head to the pipes, which is necessary to make the tunnel passable. It is also equipped with many position and pressure sensors, which allows us to monitor the steering angle and forces in the front for controlling earth pressure balance and preventing overpressure. The hydraulic circuit is closed within the steering system, which minimizes the risk of leakage. Four steel pipe segments, 8.5 meters long, 0.56 meters in diameter, and each weighing over 1.2 tons, line up as a tunnel. They are equipped with connectors, which ensure concentricity and transfer the torque and force between the segments. The pipe jacking method allows us to pre-install conveyor belts, cable management, many sensors, lights and cameras in the pipes. Four millimeter thick steel sheets are welded inside the segments and serve as a driveway. This way we can achieve two winning categories at once. It also creates an empty space underneath for the laser guidance system. Where quick access is needed, we installed maintenance hatches. But how is all of this pushed forward with these extreme speeds and forces while not pushing back our start structure? Where are all the tunnel segments stored and delivered efficiently? Those are the problems my team and I solved. Since we are planning to build the tunnel as quickly as possible, we constructed a revolver pipe storage that contains all tunnel segments with a total weight of almost 8 tons. This allows us to quickly switch to the next segment with minimal downtime. A motor-driven gear system drives the revolver and prohibits unintended movement. The cutter head and the steering module is connected to the first segment. Each further segment is secured with a bolt which is sheared off by a feeding system when the pipe is pushed into the jacking frame. The jacking system consists of two clamps, each of them propelled with four hydraulic cylinders. The system can be operated in a continuous mode which supports jacking forces up to 500 kN while keeping a constant speed of 1 meter per minute. In a discontinuous mode, it can provide forces up to 1 mega Newton. Our calculations show that the propulsion force of 500 kN is more than sufficient for the conditions in the US, so the discontinuous mode will only be used as a backup. Due to the enormous forces from the jacking unit, it is necessary to ensure that these loads are counteracted by an additional system. The slightest movements of the container could affect the accuracy of our drilling process and in the worst case interrupt it entirely. Therefore we use concrete blocks and depending on the geology earth screws to anchor all propulsion loads safely into the ground. Everything from the powerful hydraulic system, cutter head, screw conveyor to the efficient conveyor belts and steering must be powered safely. Kilian Scheer and his team found a perfect solution for this challenge.
For building the fastest tunnel boring machine with the most straightforward boring operation, power is needed. Power for all sensors and actuators in process. My team, Power System, is responsible for the provision and distribution of power. We shall not exceed 100 kW. Furthermore, we designed the drives including the motors, gears and frequency converters and found solutions for the needed power, torque and speed and how to achieve this. Drives with a power of 30 kW in total were only chosen for the cutter head and its crew conveyor. Our motor for the pipe storage has to turn a total mass of 10 tons. And to ensure a safe operation state, ground fault monitoring was implemented and a custom cable management designed and built. But let's get deeper into the details. Four water-cooled synchronous motors drive the cutter head. The water cooling with our self-designed cooling blades for the converters allows us to achieve the highest possible power density in this confined space. Five liters of water per minute run through the hoses to draw the produced heat from the motors. In combination with gears with a ratio between 16 and 25 and spur gears smashing into the ring gear, a maximum torque of more than 11,200 Newton meter can be reached for our boring operation at the cutter head. For a uniformly distributed torque around the ring gear and a smooth turning, we've developed and programmed an own control to synchronize the motors. We are tomb boring, innovation and tunneling. And our biggest innovation in my team is our design cable management. All cables and hoses must be routed through the pipe segments. After one pipe was pushed forward, a new pipe of our pipe storage has to be connected to the pipe beforehand. This is where our idea comes in. In order to be as fast as possible, we design a connector board to connect our cable harness between the pipe segments. After a manual connection, the harness is pushed into the pipe automatically and stowed safely. And now, the check-in process can start again. To guarantee the highest level of safety for all our team members and the highest availability of our TBM, we decided to design our electrical cabinet for using an IT system. The star point of the generator is not connected to Earth, only the housings of our TBM and its components. A ground fault monitoring system is continuously monitoring the system's insulation resistance. If a fault occurs, it can be localized and we have the opportunity to plan a shutdown and subsequent maintenance work. Despite the case of fault, we additionally ensure that no one is in danger at any time. To handle the intense power of our TBM, we need a system that provides us with all the necessary information and functionalities to control it. Our control system provides an interface to our machine, which allows our TBM operator to control every aspect of the machine. Thanks to the work of Johannes Drexler and his team, we will be able to do that. Our work allows all functions of our TBM to be monitored and controlled quickly and safely. As a collection point for all of our nearly 4 km long wiring, the control system acts as a brain for the entire TBM. It receives signals from our 50 sensors and controls 20 actuators, as well as evaluating them accordingly. This control system is implemented on a state-of-the-art programmable logic controller, which is typically used in the automation industry. It communicates via the field bus protocols CAN and Ethernet. The graphic user interface runs on an industrial PC with the operating system embedded Windows and is displayed on a 21.5 inch touchscreen. In addition, it includes five potentiometers that allow precise manual adjustment of operationally necessary values. Commands by the TVM operator are evaluated through input via the touch display by the programmable logic controller and forwarded to the actuators to enable control of the TBM. Actuators are for example the motors of a cutter head, the conveyor belts, the hydraulics of a steering or a propulsion system. Furthermore, the TBM operator is provided with a system of video surveillance cameras, which offers a complete overview of the mechanical system, including all areas, starting from a mining chamber of a cutter head, to a conveyor belts in the tunnel, and the feed system in the container. This allows us not only to monitor the functionality of the TBM through sensors, but also actual visuals. Our tech girls and tech boys are strongly supported by operations team that takes care of all organizational issues in both the daily and long-term business. And they actually have something to announce. Thank you, Dimitri. Now, you have the chance to become part of the morning. 
At this very moment, we're officially launching our crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter. You have now the opportunity to contribute directly to the success of our project and get great rewards in return of our support. Besides t-shirts, beer mugs, patches, stickers, postcards, and many other cool things, you also have the chance to get an official meet and greet, where you will get exclusive live insights of our tunnel boring machine from our leads. Furthermore, as a thank you for exceptionally generous donations, we also include your name in our website, if you wish. But that's not all. You will also have the rare opportunity to determine the name of our machine, or one of these components, which means that you can engrave yourself into a historical moment of the Technical University of Munich. So, check out our website for further details and become part of our success, revolutionizing the transportation system worldwide. But, we have one more thing to announce. The last weeks, we have been working on a special surprise for you. Today, we're producing our own NFT, the new way of digitalizing your property. Through our website, you have the chance to immortalize yourself with a visual file of your choice in the blockchain together with us. For that, you can find all the essential details on our website. We are looking forward to your creative contributions. We really hope to see you running around Munich and the world in our exclusive Tumboring t-shirts and drinking your beverages out of Tumboring BMAX. So don't forget to check out our Kickstarter page to become a part of the Tumboring family. We really hoped you enjoyed this evening and got a lot of useful insight and inspiration. We're looking forward to exchanging with you personally. See you soon and let's beat the snail.